Good evening, everybody. Monday evening. The week before Christmas or the Christmas week. September 22. There's a greater chance that the Lord was born on that date than in December. December was chosen by the Catholic Church. September 22. A strong possibility of the birth of of Christ, Son of Man, Christ anointed. This is a call to the elect. You know who you are. Sealed of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit One is Lord God Elohim, Christ anointed, Messiah Christ, the sent Son of God anointed. We exalt and lift up Adonai Yahushua, the Lord Jesus, Christ anointed. Now, when was the last time you read 1 Corinthians, the first 20 verses, and was taken to a new level of understanding of out from among the living dead ones, unsaved. The resurrection there, yes, the Lord rose from the dead and appeared, 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 and it tells you who he appeared to. Let's look at that. Cephas, who is Peter, I'm in verse 5 of the 15th chapter of 1 Corinthians. Cephas, who is Peter, the twelve. Five hundred brothers and sisters at once or at the same time. And there are those who are still alive when Paul wrote to the first Corinthians. First Corinthians. Then he appeared to James and all the apostles. Now, it says he would appear to the twelve and all the apostles. So, Mathis and Paul are addition to the original twelve. Then to all the apostles, and last of all, he appeared to me, Saul Paul of Tarsus. And when did that take place? anywhere from three to five years after the cross. As you read on, it's grace, grace, all of them, grace of God, major doctrine, grace, love, grace, mercy, peace, and joy. In Corinthians, it's faith in hope, and the greatest of these three is love. Faith, hope, and love. The greatest of those three words is God is love. God is Holy Spirit one. The one spirit holy. The highest living one spirit holy. Most high. El Yan. Highest living God. This is a message to those that understand and see the way in Christ, the way called out ones, spirit anointed. Christ means the anointed ones, the called out ones. Church is put in its place in scripture, but they're the elect called out ones, placed sons mature and responsible. Have you studied the Greek words that they wrote in adoption in the King James Bible? Adoption needs to be taken out because from Greek Septuagint, two words, a placing a son, and a woman can be a son, mature and responsible. There is no gender in the spirit, neither male nor female, Galatians 3.28. Back to 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter. The resurrection 
are the anointed, elect, called out ones, raised, sealed by the Holy Spirit, anointed Christ believers that have faith in Christ anointing. Resurrection out from living dead ones at present. Do you know you're sealed by the Holy Spirit? Do you know that Christ is in you? Because if Christ is not in you, you're none of his. Romans 8, 9 through 11. Please read it for yourself. If you have any doubt whatsoever that Christ might not be in you, or that you're not born of the Holy Spirit and sealed by the Holy Spirit, you're an anointed Christ one. You're none of his. Romans 8, 9 through 11. I've repeated it twice. Read it for yourself. It isn't what church denomination you belong to, how many times you go to church, how much money you give at church. It's about the spirit against the flesh. The flesh is corrupt. The desires of the flesh are against the will of the Spirit. Comes down to man, fallen, Holy Spirit, still pure and truthful, and the anointing. How are we doing here? 30 seconds to 7 minutes. I'm going to stop here. Read 1 Corinthians if you're an elect, called out one, anointed, sealed in the Holy Spirit, Christ anointing, read 1 Corinthians 1 through 20 and pray and sit quietly. Love you. Bye.